In this video, we're going to walk you through the ins and outs of using our photo edge tools here inside Pixel Creator Pro. Now, there are several points to make here. And the first point I want to make is when we're designing with Pixel Creator Pro, we can insert a photo edge onto just about any layer that we want to, but not shape layers. And if we look here in the layers palette, you can see that this particular image layer has a vector layer mask, which is essentially a shape layer. Um, and what we need to do is simply right click on that layer mask and choose rasterize vector layer mask. So anytime we're dealing with a shape layer or a layer with a vector layer mask, and you'll know it's a vector layer mask because notice the coloring. It's gray and white. When I right click in rasterize vector mask, it is black and white and you have to right click on the little layer mask icon if you if you right click over here you don't get the option see but if you right click right on the layer mask rasterize vector mask boom that converts it to black and white which is a bitmap layer mask now we can go ahead and apply a photo edge so when I come into photo edges here in pixel creator pro we have two sets of presets. Now these are user configurable. You don't have to stick with our defaults. And in fact, I'm going to show you here in a bit how to make these uh, whatever you want them to be. So I'm going to choose presets volume one and simply choose the apply edge function. And we don't want to click. We don't want to click inside our document. Let Pixel Creator Pro work its magic. There's a lot going on. And you can see it's created a nice little photo edge effect to our image. Now you notice that the original image is still there without the edge effect applied. Just toggle it on and off. Now, what if we apply an edge that, you know what, it just doesn't work for this image. We can go back into Photo Edges, choose a different one, even from a different collection, and choose Apply Edge. And Pixel Creator Pro is smart enough to know that we have uh, a different a different uh, edge applied there okay so it's so it's pretty sophisticated in that way let's go back in here and choose apply edge again and you can see we get a totally different edge effect so that's just something to kind of keep in mind we can switch out those edges very very quickly and easily now another thing that we have is we have the ability to do an underlay edge effect and this can be a fun effect let's go ahead and set our foreground color this really bright pink and let's go ahead and do an underlay edge effect and let's show you what that looks like so we'll choose the U for underlay that's what this little U stands for and what that does is it actually creates a layer below our image layer allows us to kind of position this underlying layer we can rotate it resize it using the transformation handles here and once you kinda of get it positioned the way you like it then we can just go ahead and hit return and see so you can create some interesting effects using the underlay photo edge effect and we actually we can layer these effects too so um, what we could do here is we can come in here and let's set our foreground color to black and let's go back into photo edges and choose underlay again and it's just going to create another underlay edge effect which we might just rotate the other way and go ahead and hit enter and see how we created a totally different effect so you can kind of build on these add some interesting drop shadows and other things to create some really interesting effects as it relates to these photo edges. So it's a very, very straightforward process. We can apply a photo edge to more than one layer at a time. If you had a need to, you would just select all the image layers and choose the photo edge function, and it would apply the photo edge to more than one layer at a time. We can even apply a photo edge that is not already set up as a preset. And the way we do that is to come in here to bridge Let's close this menu for a moment. Come into our Photo Edges folder and let's go to Ovals and Circles. Okay, so this is an edge effect that we don't have set up as a preset. So we're just going to select that and then we click on Photo Edges. 
we instead of using presets volume one or two we switch to this auxiliary menu down here which is the add photo edge so when I choose add photo edge then it will take the edge file that I selected in bridge and apply it to my image here and then we get a totally different effect so now we have a nice oval edge effect to our image and we still have our underlay edge effects as well okay so let's go ahead and close this document because I have one more thing to show you as it relates to photo edges and that is how do we set up uh, different edge files and so what we're going to do is we're going to actually come in here and select one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ovals and drag and drop them into Photoshop so all I'm doing here is I'm opening up my 10 favorite photo edge effects and then I'm going to come into utilities and choose photo edge presets volume 2 and just let pixel creator pro do its magic and just that quickly let's go ahead and open up an image now so now I have just an individual image file open we can actually apply an edge effect to an individual image as well so when I click on photo edges and choose presets guess what look at the previews notice how there are the 10 files that I selected so let's go back to the first one and I click apply edge and I just sit back let pixel creator pro do its thing and now that edge effect has been applied to my image and there it is and just like before if I don't like it I just come back in choose a different one apply edge and it'll just go ahead and replace it with my new one and the only the only thing that these edge files are are just a simple black and white image that we created in Photoshop and then we can use it as a layer mask to create this edge effect for us and this background of course we could make it black you know we could be more creative in our color choice and do all kinds of fun things um, very very easily in fact we could even um, insert a texture into the background as well if we wanted to so very very simple to use our photo edge tools and as I click on my photo edge tools here even when I'm selecting this little function down here this little button to the right is saying hey I want to use an edge file that I have selected in bridge so we have the add photo edge black and white overlays and as well as the underlay uh, border and that is the same function as the underlay here in our presets so try out those photo edge tools and experiment with the regular photo edges as well as the underlay photo edges to create some really interesting effects uh, using the photo edge tools here in Pixel Creator Pro.